Hi, good morning. It is December 2nd and I'm about to go on a walk. But before I go on a walk, I wanted to quickly tell you the things that I have to do today so you know what this vlog is going to be about. So today I am going to contact my agents uh, for them to start thinking about what headshots they want from me next um, for a few different reasons so we can prepare better for 2021. And I'm going to be scheduling another headshot session with the headshot truck, which I worked with in July and I did my first session then and I want to do another one now and I also want to share my Christmas wish list for you for 2020 because I have a lot of acting related voiceover related things on my wish list and I want to share them with you so if you're an actor you can share this video with your family people that are looking to buy you something that's very useful that you would appreciate or if you want to buy these for yourself for Christmas um, my self tape audition setup I just realized I've had everything for at least a year and one of the items i've actually had for almost four years because i got it for christmas four years ago so i'm gonna share all of that with you but i need to go on a walk because i'm working from home and being sitting down being inside all day is really starting to get to my body i always feel tired like i'm my blood isn't circulating right so let's go on a walk <laughs> This year, of course, because of the coronavirus, everything slowed down a lot, but specifically I slowed down a lot in self-submitting because there's not a lot where you are guaranteed that they're going to be COVID conscious. And a lot of the things that I have been self-submitting for, I only submit for it if it's filming at home remote or you can get tested day of, day before, and it seems more safe because I don't want to get really sick. Um, for an acting job, I have been very cautious, but for 2021, I really want to ramp up the amount of submissions my agents uh, submit me for you know the amount of bookings that i get through my agents as well as get agents in la so that i don't only have representation in san francisco my next goal is to get representation in la and then after that expand to other cities as well so when i contact my agents i am going to ask them what headshots do you want next um the agent that was helping me last time told me that next time i get a headshots that we can do more young like best friend or a college student because she says I can play a mom or I can play a college student which I totally agree with so I want some headshots with that and I did get, get these really cute pink glasses so I want to get updated headshots with these as well because the last headshots I took uh, I had my black frames which are great for tech commercials this is a little bit more quirky so I definitely want some headshots with these because I absolutely love these and I want some more some more commercial headshots in general yeah, I really want 2021 to be a lot more successful and I want to feel safe in these jobs. I also really, really want some coffee right now, but I've been so sensitive to caffeine lately. And one of my uh, fellow acting classmates for my online acting class that I'm taking right now, she suggested I do matcha and I haven't had matcha in a really, really long time. So I'm going to go get some matcha from Starbucks right now. Get a little one, get a taste of it, drink it slowly and see if I get anxious because I that's not what I want today. I'm waiting for my order to be ready and while I wait I wanted to tell you that this year my wish list is a little bit different than it has been in years past because a lot of voiceover jobs are wanting you to have a professional setup or are looking to cast somebody that has a professional setup and I've been doing a lot of research for a while but specifically this year I learned about Lori, Lori Burke who has done a lot of lives on backstage uh, the backstage casting their YouTube channel as well as she has videos on her channel and she suggested a 
uh, all-in-one package where, where it has everything you need in order to create a setup. So I'm excited for all of the voiceover things that I have on my wish list. For my wish list, I like to put prices of all categories because I know some people rather just get me one thing, one nice thing, and be done with it. And I know other people like to be more creative and buy me a lot of little things. So the voiceover um, section of my wish list does have some things that are cheaper, 10 to $20. And then there are some things like the one that Lori Burke suggested in one of her videos that is a bigger, um, you know, all in one setup, which is still a really great deal to be getting all of those items. Okay, my order is ready. So we will continue this conversation. I got the matcha and I'm going to try it. I haven't had I don't know if I've ever had a matcha latte from Starbucks. I know I've had a hot one. I know I've had an iced one years and years ago, but it smells earthy. It also tastes earthy. <laughs> Will I drink this again? <laughs> I don't know. I really want some coffee. I like coffee for the flavor and also the energy it gives me, but... Anyways, let's let's go back home and we can talk about the wish list. So far, this matcha has not gotten me jittery. I feel that I have energy, but I don't feel anxious or jittery or anything. So this is doing good so far, but the flavor, I don't love the flavor. Maybe I should try matcha from a few different places before I give up on it entirely. But it's time to talk about my wish list, my Christmas wish list, what's on my wish list, as well as what is on my actor's essential list. It's an idea list on Amazon that is public. And of course, I'm going to leave all of the links of everything in the description of this video. But we're going to talk about Amazon wish list subscriptions for actors, as well as the small businesses that I want this holiday season. So the last one, the small businesses is not about acting and I'm going to leave that to the very last. If you want to give somebody in general a gift, there are some really great ideas in there and they're small businesses. Most, if not all are also women owned. So it's a great place to start your research. If you want to shop small this holiday season. Also, if you are going to purchase on Amazon and you feel a little bit bad or you want to you know give your money to somebody to an individual versus a company if you do click on amazon affiliate links that person is getting a small percentage of the money that you spend so for example for me all of my links are affiliate links and i always label them in the description but if you start shopping through somebody's affiliate link such as mine if you click on any of the links in the description and then go shopping because amazon knows that i was the reason why you even went onto amazon they will give me a commission so it's you're still supporting a small business if you start with the youtubers link so if you know that somebody such as myself has affiliate links you can start your amazon shopping there and at least a little portion of it will go to an individual versus a huge company now let's start with my actor essentials list on Amazon. Everything that I have acting related in my wish list this year is on this list. So I either have it or it's on my wish list. If I have it, I'm going to show it to you unless I'm using it because I'm using my favorite tripod that's in here as well as my microphone. Uh, but we're going to start with the cheapest thing. It is this remote. You can get it for about $5. If you want a strap with it, I have a $9 one on there because it's easier to hang on to unless you have pockets and it's fine. This is a timer. So when they are you or they are filming self tape auditions or recording something, they don't have to run to the camera to start and stop it. So this is the remote and it's also a great stocking stuffer. Next is this pop filter and this one is only $10 and it's the one I used for my ASMR video a few weeks ago. And I've seen some really expensive ones, 60, $80. This is my first pop filter, so I don't really have much to compare it to, but the difference between the microphone without the pop filter and with. Hi, this is a pop filter. Hi, this is a pop filter. Can you hear the difference? It's really good, only $10. And if your stocking is big enough, you can just fold it and put it in there. The Artist Way is a book. It's $11 on Amazon. It is on my list because whenever I read a thread or I'm following a thread of good books for actors or recommend me a book about acting, The Artist Way is always in there. So I'm excited to hopefully get it for Christmas and I will of course make a video about it once I 
do read it. For $14, you can get a garment bag, and this is really, really great when you get cast in something and you need to take clothes with you. It has zippers at the bottom, so I like to put my shoes in the bottom, and then you can carry your things neatly. It won't get dirty or wrinkled. For $14, you can get Jenna's Fisher book, The Actors... The the Actor's Life, A Survival Guide. She wrote a really great book about her experience in Hollywood and how long it took her to even get a decent role. And it really gives you a good glimpse into what acting is like. This is a great book for any kind of actor, beginner or veteran, because I learned a lot from it and I could sympathize with a lot of the things that she went through. For $15, you can get this audition book. This book I have had for so many years and I had to actually purchase this in college. So it is professor recommended and also Belkika recommended. For $15, you can get this other book. It is the Sanford Meisner on acting book. I have this on Audible. I have this hard copy and uh, this is my favorite acting technique. I recommend it again for pretty much any level of actor. For $16, you can get this really sturdy tripod mount that is um, able to accommodate pretty much any phone. I love this. When I first bought this, I thought, mm, this is a little expensive for only a mount because it's just a section for $16, but I love it so much that I have two. If you have a Latinx actor that you are purchasing something for, or you are Latinx, I have this monologue book for Latinx people, actors, and it is a great introduction as well to anybody that is interested in literature in general because this book gives you monologues for female and males and it gives you information about the playwright so that you can learn about them and see other plays that they have written and be able to read other uh, other work of theirs. And this is $25. For $28 you can get this tripod that is quite flimsy but it's cheap and usable. I used it for all of 2017 and 18 and it was fine, flimsy, but it did its job. For $34, you can get that backdrop stand that's right behind me, the black you see. And then for about $30 to $100, you can also get them the paper depending on the size. This paper backdrop that's behind me is 53 inches. I purchased it at an actual camera, camera store and it was about $50. The next thing that I recommend is also on my small business wish list because she is not a huge business I would say she's a one of the larger small businesses that I have chosen but it is a passion planner because actors of course we have a lot going on classes day jobs auditions depending on what size you get this is about $35 this is getting into the voiceover part of the wish list this is on my wish list this year it's 59 dollars, and it is an absorption pad so that you can stand there when you're filming your voiceover auditions and it sounds great nothing is bouncing off the walls or the closet because usually we record these in the closet but this is on my wish list and if it if nobody buys it for me i am getting this the day after christmas for $61, you can get this backdrop that has a gray side and a blue side. I have this on my wish list because one of my fellow members of the work, I did this actor's program. I have another video on that, but she bought this and I have been seeing this all over the place and I thought, I want to try this out. I want to see uh, why so many of my friends have it. Personally, I love the paper backdrops because I can get so many colors and I honestly love the way they look just against the wall. I know that's kind of silly, but also for photos, uh, head to toe photos, I can have that go all the way down. But anyways, this backdrop, I'm definitely going to try it out and I would recommend it because we need a nice solid backdrop for our auditions. For $85, you can get them a ring light and this already includes a mount to put your phone or your camera on, but I have found that when you do that, especially for the kind of filming that I do, which is usually auditions or YouTube where you can see this much of my body, it is a little bit too close because then the ring light is in my eyes or on my glasses, which I'm trying to avoid right now, but uh, this is a ring light that I've had for four years and I am still using it all, of the, all the time. Right now it's actually behind me and I have some two other umbrella lights that I'm not including on here because the light bulbs, I got them from another store, but it is linked in the description as well. And for $85, that ring light is great. That's the one thing that I have noticed that changes in price a lot. I have seen it for 112, I have seen it for 75. So all of these prices, because it is Amazon, it tends to change a 
of course, and depending on the seller. For $79, you can get this amazing tripod that I'm using right now. I actually purchased this tripod for my boyfriend last year for Christmas, and I've never spent so much money on a tripod. $79 for a tripod sounds like a lot of money, but one day I was like, can I borrow your tripod? And when I used it, I loved it so much. I'm using it right now. It's very versatile. It didn't come with a phone amount, so I had to purchase the heavy duty one I shared, uh, uh, talked about earlier. Totally worth it. I absolutely love it. Not flimsy at all, solid, sturdy. I love it. <laughs> For $90, you can get them an e-reader and you might be able to find cheaper versions that are totally fine. But when you're on set, a lot of the time they ask you to not have electronics out or not bring electronics with you uh, to set. And if you have a reader, it's, you're going to be able to read. You can memorize your scripts. And you can read random novels or books and be like, this thing doesn't have a camera. Can I bring it with me to set? And you guys, if you're not an actor and you've never been on set, whew, most of acting when you're actually on set is just waiting and you can get really, really bored. So you're going to save, uh, you're going to help their sanity if you get them this e-reader. For $100, you can get this microphone. It is actually the microphone that I'm using right now, the microphone that I use for self-tape auditions. And I have seen this microphone between $50 and right now it's saying it's a hundred. So it really depends uh, when you click on it. But I have had this microphone for a little over a year. Right now I'm using it without the little fuzzy head, but it also has that. For $260, you can get them the whole voiceover shebang. Well, minus the absorption pads, but this Lori Burke actually recommended. Uh, if you guys don't know Lori Burke, I just found out about her this year and actually I just realized I worked with her a few years ago on a commercial, um, but on her channel, she recommended this and it is the whole deal. So it is essentially everything you need in order to film professionally at home. If you're a beginner starter disclaimer, I'm, I've never had a studio of this caliber. So I'm excited to either get it for Christmas or purchase it for myself. Um, and then this plus the sound absorption. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys when I get it, if I get it. So that's my list on Amazon now for subscriptions. So actors, we have a lot of different subscriptions. It can get really, really expensive. So this next one, you might not be able to necessarily purchase a subscription for them, or you might not want to because you don't know which one they want, which one would work for them. So for this one, I would suggest that you give them cash money, solid money or Venmo or something and give it to them in a creative way. So it doesn't feel like you're giving, you're just giving them money or you're just giving them a gift card. I would suggest that you figure out a way to give them some money and within that card or cute gift that you give them, put the money and then maybe uh, tie it with a little bow or a little note and say uh, something about, you know, I, I support your acting career. I'm so happy that you're going for uh, reaching for your goals, etc. And you can say, here is blank amount of money to go towards your subscription for backstage, for example, or LA casting, SF casting, dep depending on where they live. They have a lot of different places. Actors access, IMDB. These are all places that actors have subscriptions for and they can get very, very expensive. I have a video on <laughs> how much money I have spent so far this year on acting. Another subscription that I know every actor can use, so you can just go ahead and buy it for them, is the Headshot Truck. And I actually did a video with them and I collaborated with the Headshot Truck um, in July. And I had a great experience with the Headshot Truck, so I 100% recommend them. Right now, because of COVID, they're only able to do stuff in LA in their studio, as well as now they have outdoor photos that you can do, um, but they have a subscription. It's $50 a month, which is great because you can get up to six shots for the whole year, uh, but you can go to their website and figure out how much money that uh, that would be because you can get them a one-time thing or you can get them a subscription. And headshots, I mean, every actor needs headshots, even if it's your first day acting or your 10th year acting, you're going to need headshots. Okay, now for the non actor, but for everybody gift ideas, I have a bunch of different shops. Most of these I either know somebody that's in it or they're women owned. Uh, but let's start with the first one. The first one is shop del Carmen. I actually met her through 
um, online, just we're social media friends and through WeXL, which is a nonprofit, but she has a bunch of really great accessories. She just celebrated her second anniversary um, for her online store. She's so sweet. She also has a YouTube channel. I'm actually going to feature her at the end of the video if you guys want to go check her out. Um, and she has really cute clothes. She's a Latina. She owns the store herself. And I have a few of her items on my wish list. Oh, and let me tell you this uh, spreadsheet that I created for my family. I put the price range. So in case they, you know, they have a budget or they just want to buy me one more little thing, then they can look on here for the price. And then items that I like, I listed items specifically from that website that I like. And if there's any discount codes, I also included them there so they could take advantage of that. So for Shop del Carmen, uh, I put some stuff and let me show you uh, her clothing. She has this really cute, cute shirt where it says cafecito, which means coffee or like little coffee. So adorable. She's so cute. Okay, the next one is uh, soaps from Etsy, and this is a Black-owned business. Uh, at the beginning of the year, there were a lot of Black-owned businesses lists going around, so I went ahead and favorited them at the beginning of the year, and now they're still on there, so I have some soaps on there. Handcrafted by Kate. 510. These are really cute earrings. Oh, she just added some more stuff. I again, I favorited a few of these. She has some really cute new designs that look like knitted sweaters, but they're earrings. The next one it are masks, specifically masks with cacti on them or plants. Copper coffee, even though coffee is making me really jittery now, I know I'm going to be able to enjoy it hopefully in the future, or my boyfriend can enjoy these, but I didn't want to take it off my wish list. This is also female owned. She's a Vietnamese woman, um, sustainable coffee. It's, I believe this is called like pour over coffee. Um, really delicious Vietnamese coffee. So good. Also so strong. And the last one is Black Girls Code. I put a section on my uh, small businesses wish list that they can donate any amount of money on my behalf or in my honor. So those are all of my Christmas wish list items, ideas. Um, let me know if you have any other great ideas for actors. Um, and now I need to get ready for my acting class because it's going to start in a couple of hours and I still need to make dinner, cook dinner, and be ready for the class. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for day three of Vlogmas. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. Today, like I said, I'm going to feature Moiza. Um, is that how you say your channel name? I don't know. Anyways, she's the owner of Shop del Carmen. Go check her out if you would like to be featured on my next video. Make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.